Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be unboxing a brand new food subscription box and I'm really excited about this. This is Munch Pack for the month of June. For those of you who don't know, Munch Pack is very similar to the video that I do a lot, Universal Yums, where they send you foreign sweets and treats and snacks from around the world. But this one is a little bit different because unlike Universal Yums, Munch Pack does give you multiple countries in one box. So they do have three different subscription sizes. They have one that gives you five plus snacks, one that gives you 10 plus snacks, and one that gives you 20 plus snacks. I'm looking down because it's on my computer. So if you have the five plus snacks, it's $13.95 a month. If you have 10 plus snacks, it's $23.95 a month. And if you have 20 plus snacks, it's $43.95 a month. And their subscription price does get cheaper if you sign up for a longer commitment. But if you are interested, I do have a referral code that would get you $5 off your first box. And I should say that I got the box that is 10 plus snacks just because I wanted to give it a try because I get universal yums. I kind of wanted to expand a little bit on a food box. So I decided I would go with the middle box, but I am not going to be trying anything. I will say that just because I don't want to be wasteful and open all of the products at once. But again, if you are interested, there are other people who do try the snacks as they unbox it. But I am going to go ahead and get started. If you are interested in subscription box videos like this, including food and beauty ones and a lot of different things, go ahead and subscribe because I post videos like this all the time. But let's get into Munch Pack because I'm really excited. So when you open it, like the packaging is so cute. Even the back of the box is so adorable. It does come with outer packaging, but I already ripped all of that off. And then here is what it looks like. So you can enter to win a three month subscription, which I probably will do that because why not? And it does come with a little booklet. So it says this month there are snacks from Germany, Turkey, Italy, and more. So then it goes through what you would get if you got the five plus box, the 10 plus, and then the 20 plus family pack. And they do have an option to add on a soda each month, which this month was a crush cream soda which is from Canada, but I don't really drink soda, so I didn't add on anything like that. So I'm going to keep this booklet open just so I know what I'm talking about when I go over the snacks and I can tell you what country they are from. Again, if you hear thunder, it is still storming here, but I am going to continue anyway. So then you move the little tissue paper and then you have all of your snacks. So the first one looks to be some kind of chips and these are wrap snacks icon Big Papa Cookout Barbecue. These crisp and crunchy chips are flavored with a big mix of sweet and smoky barbecue seasonings that will transport you to a backyard summer cookout. This is one ounce and these are apparently from the United States, though I can honestly say I've never seen these before. Hmm. But barbecue snacks are always good, cannot go wrong there. The next item is from Bulgaria and I'm assuming it's Ziggy. These are marinated peanuts and nacho cheese flavored. So these marinated peanuts are flavored with smooth and savory nacho cheese. And this protein rich snack keeps your belly full and energy high. This looks really good. Like I really want to try these. I love nacho cheese and in a peanut form is pretty cool. I must say, I've never tried anything like that before. So the next item is from Spain and this is their Finny Roller Tutti Frutti. With great fruit flavors like apple, strawberry, raspberry, and lemon, this extra sour rainbow colored gummy belt is ready to be unrolled and enjoyed. This is 1.4 fluid ounces. So it does say it's extra sour. I've never had like a sour candy from Spain, so I wonder how sour is sour there. But I'm still definitely going to try it as I'm going to try everything because all of this stuff looks so good, just like Universal Yum's. So next is Hunata Wafer. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong, so I apologize. This is smooth and rich tasting hazelnut filling is sandwiched between some seriously delicious vanilla wafers. This makes for a perfect, perfectly sweet snack. And this is from Germany. So this probably tastes like vanilla or no, not vanilla, Nutella. I don't know where vanilla came from, but yeah. Ooh, this looks good too. Oh, I'm gonna have to eat something 100%. And then the last thing that would be in the five plus snacks box is some Biscani Coco Moco. I'm pronouncing that wrong from Pakistan. So these are crunchy biscuits for the ultimate pick me up. These adorable biscuits are filled with chocolate cream for a sweet fix. Hmm, not bad. I don't think I've ever had anything from Pakistan either. Pretty neat. So that was the five items that were just in the mini box, which I don't remember the price already. Was it $10? No, don't remember. 
Okay, anyway, so next is the stuff that is also included in the original box, which is the middle-sized box. So the first item is cactus and lemon candy. So it says this delightfully hard candy is coated with a lightly sweet prickly pear flavor and has a surprisingly fizzy lemon center. Talk about a great mix. These are from Poland. I love like anything pear related so this is going to be delicious. Like I am totally opening these when I am done with this video because they look really really good. So what is this next one? It's Oshi Pipe Bites White Chocolate. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong but it's from the Philippines. So it says sweet and crisp churros filled with smooth and creamy white chocolate and then cut into bite-sized pieces for the perfect snacking size and combination. White chocolate filled churros. Very neat. I'm intrigued by this as I am by everything. So then next is from Canada. Ooh, sour again. Very interesting. Live Wires Sour Blue Raspberry Tongue Painters. These super soft and super sour blue raspberry licorice pieces are filled with a sweet and yummy cream to balance the tart flavor and will leave your tongue painted blue. Very interesting. I love blue raspberry as well, so I'm so excited to see this. This is going to be actually pretty good. I will, yeah, blue raspberry is like a huge win for me. Blue raspberry, pear, things like that. I love it. So next item is from Italy. And these are some vanilla cream filled puffs. So let's, let's see, it says Matilde Venisi. I'm pronouncing that wrong, I'm sorry. Brings all the flavor of an Italian bakery right to you. This crunchy, perfectly glazed pastry, pastry is filled with sweet bakery quality vanilla cream so you can bring Italy home. And you get eight pieces. Oh, this looks good. This looks very similar to something that was in the Universal Yums box in May. Was it, I think it was, some kind of Danish. I don't know, but it was delicious. I've already looked it up to repurchase it. Haven't found it yet, but this looks very, very similar, so I'm excited about that. And then the last item is a chocolate crepe. Can we talk about delicious here? From France. This snack is the ultimate in crepe portability and is just as tasty right out of the wrapper as it is heated in the microwave. Top it with whipped cream for added sweetness. Oh, this is going to be good. I love crepes. They're so good. I can't even tell you the last time I had a crepe, but I'm so excited for this. So that was everything that was in the original box, which is the medium size one for 10 plus snacks. And then I'll just go ahead and show you because I didn't get the family pack, but the largest one with 20 plus snacks also included these four, and then these four, and then these two. So you did get 10 more snacks with the larger sized box. And again, if you wanted to add on to the soda, you can do that as an upgrade as well. But I believe that is all I have for this video today. If you subscribe to this box, comment down below because I honestly, this is my first box, so I don't know too much about the company, but I'm really excited to try all of the snacks and I think I might actually keep it again next month. I'll probably still stick with like the 10 snack one just so I can kind of still test it out more. But again, definitely if you subscribe to this box, comment down below just so I can have some ideas. And if you don't subscribe and want to, I can get $5 off your first box if you use my code. But thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.